Good morning and welcome to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. We'll take a look at several important issues today, beginning with health care. The open enrollment period begins November 1st and goes through December 15th for coverage to start January 1st of 2019. My first guest is here to tell you all that you need to know in order to get enrolled. Caroline Gomez-Tom, she's the Navigator Program Manager for Covering Wisconsin and the Project Manager for the Milwaukee Enrollment Network. How are you, Caroline? Line. Good, how are you doing? You're a busy lady. Um, yep, it's that time and, here. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have you back on the show. And uh, there's quite a bit to understand as this enrollment period gets underway. Many people are confused. Uh, there's uh, a lot of different questions. One I hear most is what is the status of the Affordable Care Act, which of course is also known as Obamacare. Mm -hmm. People are confused. Did it get repealed? Did it not? What's the status? Absolutely, health insurance is complicated. Um, and so the status of the Affordable Care Act is, is that it's still available. Uh, this, the health insurance marketplace is still well. Uh, healthcare.gov is still available for, for people to sign up for health insurance coverage. Um, however, the tax penalty uh, is no longer going to be enforced starting mm -hmm. in 2019, but the requirement to have health insurance still is law. Okay, so let's get this right. So people are still required to have health insurance, yes. but there are no longer tax penalties if you don't have exactly. it. Exactly. Okay, and so if someone misses an open enrollment, does that mean they have to wait until 2020 to get insured? Potentially. Um, some people might qualify for a special enrollment period. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you know, if they move, um, if they lose their job and they lose their health insurance with their job, they will qualify for a 60-day window, 60 window period to enroll in the health insurance marketplace. Um, but if if they don't qualify for one of these events, then they will have to wait till the next open enrollment period if, if they qualify for marketplace coverage. Okay, so let's talk about some important numbers. What is the uninsured rate uh, specifically in Wisconsin? Yeah, so in Wisconsin, um, well, specifically Milwaukee County, mm -hmm. is uh, 68,000 people are uninsured. Um, and in the city of Milwaukee, it's about 52,000. Wow, okay, so when we look at individuals who are uh, going without insurance, Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the uh, potential problems that you run into when you're uninsured? Sure, um, unexpected illness, accidents uh, can lead to people going to the emergency room, ending up in the hospital, and having tons of expensive bills. Mm -hmm. um, bankruptcy regarding health care was one of the main reasons people went into bankruptcy before the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. And so having that a safety net, having access to coverage where um, the plans technically negotiate your rates of care, um, all are ways to lower your cost of overall health care in case of an emergency. Mm -hmm. And there are a long list of options for people to choose from, uh, specifically when people uh, find themselves being on a budget and yeah. they're trying to make sure that, you know, a large chunk of their income's not going just to health care. People have all kinds of obligations, like even their prescription medication yep. uh, is a concern in many ways. So uh, let's talk about uh, some of the costs that are involved. I know it's hard to say specific costs, sure. but where are we looking at for starters? Yeah, well, so for folks that are of very low income, they most likely will qualify for the state's Medicaid program, mm -hmm. Badger Care Plus, and that is free of cost for folks that have that low income. Uh, it, for middle-ranged income, most people will qualify for financial assistance in the health insurance market marketplace. Eight out of ten people actually qualify for those financial uh, benefits okay. and that can lower the cost of coverage and most people can find a plan a hundred dollars or less. Okay. It does vary from bronze level plans which are cheaper but they have higher out-of-pocket costs to up to gold level plans where they'll be paying a little more per month but then their out-of-pocket costs are a lot lower. Okay and uh, talk about Medicaid and Badger Care because uh, there are a lot of people who uh, qualify for that and Badger Care you do need to still get signed up. Right? Yeah and so it's a different way to sign up but um, an enrollment assistor would still be able to help someone enroll in Badger Care and Badger Care you can apply at any time. Okay. So it's not limited to that open enrollment window, uh, but there's still people that are able to help. 
Okay, very helpful. And I mentioned that you work for Covering Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Their mission is to connect residents with and promote effective use of insurance coverage and other programs that support health. Yep. So uh, talk a little bit about what you do specifically with Covering Wisconsin. Sure, so I'm the Navigator Program Manager, uh, which means that we receive a federal grant that allows us to help people sign up for health insurance mm -hmm. across the state. And so we have an office here in Milwaukee as well as Madison, and we have uh, several navigators that are able to do appointments, uh, helping people enroll in coverage either in person in the areas that our offices serve or even over the phone across all 72 counties in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And when we look into the world of politics, mm -hmm. uh, we did see organizations like this lose money mm -hmm. and not have the resources that they once had in order to advertise and remind yeah. people that the open enrollment is taking place, which is very important important so that's why I have you here today because mm -hmm. it is important for people to uh, keep in mind that this is something to put on their to-do list and to get done what's really uh, great is that you do have outreach uh, to help people if they have questions like you said healthcare it's complicated yep. there are a lot of things you can read over the same thing 50 times and say I don't get it so mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you do uh, if you're trying to sign up and you kind of reach a stumbling point um, well and, and the thing is, is because insurance is complicated, it doesn't really matter what your education level is mm -hmm. or how familiar you are with some healthcare terms. It's true. It's hard, <laughs> yes. and, and, I, and that's okay. And so when you do get uh, into one of those patterns where you don't know exactly what you're looking at, there's free assistance available across the state. And just by calling 211 or texting your zip code to 898-211, they can access this free assistance. And people are able to help them kind of walk through those areas, helping them understand um, what benefits they might qualify for in terms of uh, financial assistance to help lower their cost, or also uh, you know, where to find a primary care provider, mm -hmm. or uh, what prescriptions are going to be covered with whatever plan that they're choosing. Um, we help them walk through all those different components of their health care options. Okay, and again, you can just dial 211, mm -hmm. and then you guys have gotten really savvy with uh, <laughs> being able to text, right? Yep. So give us that uh, code again. Sure, so they can text their zip code to 898 Two on one. Okay, we'll put it on the screen. And you're also affiliated with the Milwaukee Enrollment Network. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us more about its purpose. Sure, so that's specific to Milwaukee County, and it's 100 plus organizations that are working to provide access to enrollment services across Milwaukee County. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have the health systems, the uh, federally qualified health centers, community-based organizations, all working together to make sure that the message is out there, that open enrollment is now, November 1st, uh, and there's free assistance that can help you figure out if you qualify for help, financial help, to lower the cost of insurance to you. Yeah. And that's very important, especially for the at-risk population mm -hmm. uh, in being able to have that alternative to get information. Yeah. And uh, there's this big special event you guys have yeah. uh, coming up November 1st. And like we said, that's when the open enrollment begins. And this is like a kickoff celebration, so to speak. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so just to build awareness of the open enrollment period, uh, Ascension St. Joseph's Hospital mm -hmm. will be hosting our November 1st kickoff. Uh, where people can either set appointments or walk in from 9 to 5 at St. Joe's Hospital and enroll in health insurance coverage, whether that's Badger Care or the health insurance marketplace. We'll have enrollment assisters available all day and uh, we'll provide that assistance for free. Good stuff. And uh, more insurers have actually joined the marketplace. Yes. Uh, remember having this conversation mm -hmm. last year and there were a few who were not going to be a part of the marketplace but you have those like Molina Healthcare yep. who are back in the mix. Yeah, so we'll actually have four health plans in Milwaukee County uh, this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Molina Healthcare being one of them. Um, Children's Community Health Plan, uh, Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative, and Network Health will also be continuing to offer health plans. So uh, there'll be more options. That's awesome. So premium rates, they're stabilizing, but uh, premium subsidies, they have increased. What does that mean, Caroline? Yeah. <laughs> so, so if you remember last year, uh, there was all this talk that the cost of health insurance and premiums were going up, and that was true. Um, but one thing that people didn't realize is with the Affordable Care Act, the way that financial assistance or these premium tax credits mm -hmm. work is that if the health plans go up and people qualify for tax credits, the tax credits also go up. So for folks that qualified for tax credits, they actually saw 
in some cases, their health insurance plans lower in cost. Um, of course, there were still the folks that didn't qualify for tax credits. They did see their premiums go up. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, if, they qualify, if people qualified for tax credits, they saw it go down. And I imagine that this year, it'll probably stay about the same for most people. Okay, and last year, the Trump administration ended subsidies for insurers called mm -hmm. cost sharing reductions. Yes. Uh, and you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so that is um, the second kind of discount. I mentioned the tax credits, mm -hmm. which lower the cost of monthly uh, premium prices. But cost sharing reductions are the lowering of deductibles or other out-of-pocket costs for people. And the federal government would reimburse the health plans for those discounts. And when they canceled those reimbursements, then the health plans ended up increasing their premium prices to make up the difference that they weren't getting from the federal government. And so, I, as I mentioned, it didn't really um, impact as many consumers because most people qualified for those tax credits that increased. Okay. And uh, once again, I just want to remind people if they have any questions oh, please, uh, yeah. while they're trying to get enrolled, you can dial 211 or text your zip code mm -hmm. to 898-211 for free local assistance. Uh, if you would, Caroline, talk about the importance of renewing coverage. Yeah, uh, um, plans change every year, and so the options may vary. And what we want is people to proactively choose their plans and mm -hmm. renew so that they know that they're signing up for a plan that they can afford, that's comfortable for their families, and still covers the doctors and medicines that they need for their health. Okay, anything else you need our viewers to know today? I just really uh, encourage folks We've talked about a lot of complicated issues and it might have gone over some folks' heads. <laughs> and that's okay because like I said, insurance is hard. Yeah. And so if they just call 211 or text their zip code to 898-211, they can get someone as friendly as me <laughs> <laughs> to provide them with assistance and help them understand their options. You Absolutely. don't have to do it alone. It's important to know that. Thank you so much for coming Thank by. You. All the best to you. Caroline Gomez-Tom, she is working with several organizations that are helping people get enrolled for health care in the enrollment period again is November 1st through December 15th. When we return to Our Issues Milwaukee, we'll switch our focus to economic development and find out more about the Local Initiatives Support Corporation, also known as LISC. It's a recognized leader in neighborhood development and we'll be joined by representatives who will talk about an exciting new initiative that's designed to help fuel economic development in underserved communities. We'll do that right after this.